वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग विद अ डिफरेंस एंड दिस इज मीनाक्षी न्यूज हेडलाइंस फॉर थर्टीन ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नेशनल न्यूज इंडिया ऑप्टेड आउट ऑफ ट्रेड टॉक्स विद यू एस लेट इंडो पैसिफिक ग्रो इंडिया डिजर्व टू बी पर्मानेंट मेंबर ऑफ यू एन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल एस जयशंकर एस जयशंकर मेट साउदी क्राउन प्रिंस hands over pm modi's written message ayodhya ram temple's construction to cost 1800 crore trust active covid cases in india declined to 47176 according to the union health ministry data updated on monday isro is developing intelligent satellites chairman s somnath said ahead of cheetah's arrival in madhya pradesh 24 villages resettled official supreme court to hear pleas against citizenship law on october 31 no stay of investigation in alleged cheating case against spice jet promoter delhi high court northern army commander visited batalik sector in ladakh reviews operational preparedness and uh, now some international news New monarch gave fresh impetus to Scotland's independence debate. Before becoming the king, Charles was the longest serving heir to the British throne. Indian Americans protest against hate crimes. Vandalism of Gandhi statue, a life seized bronze statue of Mahatma Gandhi was vandalized in New York City in February. US president accepted invitation to attend Queen Elizabeth's funeral. California's latest wildfire spreads rapidly, threatening hundreds of homes. The World Health Organization expects a rise in COVID-19 in Ukraine to peak in October. Ukraine has low vaccination coverage for both COVID and polio. People in parts of Sydney living without water for 3 days. Parks ex-PM Imran Khan got bail extension on terrorism charges. 50 million people around the world are trapped in forced labor or forced marriages the UN said on Monday you get to observe minute silence for queen elizabeth on september 18 and now some sports news dreams do come true dinesh kartik's first reaction after being named in india's t20 world cup squad england beat south africa in third test by 9 wickets saf under 17 championship india defeated bangladesh 2-1 in the semi final in colombo on monday to book their spot in the summit clash t20 world cup squad rohit sharma will lead india in the icc t20 world cup and now news related to business sensex nifty jump to extend gains for third straight session air india to induct 30 planes over next 15 months Hindustan Aeronautics accumulated 105% returns for investors in 2022. Rupee recovers early losses to end with gains against a subdued dollar. Top Mortgage Lender HDFC sees home loan demand despite rate hikes. Nitin Gadkari seeks US investment in roads and highways projects in India. Navi Technologies uh, got SEBI nod for initial public offering. Singapore's new work visa for skilled workers will be monitored minister. Amazon to waive 50% fee for new sellers in festival season. News related to science. NASA replaced leaking fuel seals on Artemis 1 SLS rocket ahead of planned September 23 launch. Water worlds are more common in space than previously thought a study claim. NASA's Juno probe to touch Europa, the moon, with more water than Earth. Let's have a look on weather of New Delhi. On 13th of September, the temperature of New Delhi at the daytime will reach to 34 degrees Celsius and it will drop to 26 degrees Celsius at night. And that's all in news. Thank you to all of you.